Welcome back. It's exercise time. So exercise four, you can uh, go to this link to get exercise four. And this will open up a uh, guest in Dartpad and you are able to see the whole exercise four. Okay, so if we look at exercise four quickly, just go through the questions. Uh, the first question there is use the final mark variable declared below. So it's this one that I've declared as a constant and a final mark of 87. Print out the symbol that the student achieved for his final mark by using these guidelines. Let's just hide these issues for now. So if the student has got an 87 there, it means that he must get, or he has an 80 or higher mark, which means you're going to give the symbol A there. And the same for somebody with a mark between 70 to 79 will get a B, between 60 and 69 a C, and so forth. So use these ranges that I've given you, and see if you can take any final mark there that you can replace it with to get an A, B, C, D, E, or an F. If it's less than zero, it should be invalid. And if it's higher than zero, it should also be invalid. And then an example printout would be just to say grade A. Right, let's look at question number two. Use the variables below to calculate the total electricity bill according to the given conditions. So for the first 50 units of electricity consumed, you will pay 50 cent per unit. And that basically, if you multiply 50 with 0 0.5, you get 25 Rand for 50 units. So that's if you use exactly 50 units. For the next 100 units, so that is from 50 and above until 150, it's a 0 0.75 per unit. So it's going to be the first 25 Rand there for the first 50 units, plus then the next 100 units, which will be 100 times 0 0.75 which will give you 75 rand and those two combined will give you then 100 rand for 150 units if you use exactly 150 units for the next 100 units so that's uh, above 150 uh, it is 1 rand 20 per unit so it's the 25 plus the 75 previously plus the 120 which is 100 times 1.2 and that gives you 120 so for 250 units, you will then pay 220 Rand. For every unit above 250 units, it's going to be 150 per unit. And then an additional surcharge of 20% is added to the bill at the end. Okay, so you're going to have a variable for your total number of units that's been consumed. Let's say 267. So we know already for 250 units, it is 220, for example. So you'll need to work out what is the difference then between the two, between uh, 200 and or 250 and 267, and multiply that by 1.5. But uh, what if we change this number? So create else if statements in order for you to, to be able to use any amount that I give you and give me the output on how much it's going to cost. You can also use the following variables, amount, total amount, and surcharge to do some calculations. Right, then question number three, use the variable below and indicate whether or not the value is divisible by three. And you must use a switch statement. So I can give you any value here for the value, and you must use a switch statement to decide whether this value is divisible by three or not. Just to give you an example, six is divisible by three, because uh, three goes into six two times. Without any remainder, then it's divisible by three. For example, 5 is not divisible by 3, because if you take 5 and you divide it by 3, you will get 1 point something. So there will be a, a remainder there, so it's not divisible by 3. So you can look at the modulus operator here also to help you a bit to decide whether something is divisible by something else. So pause the video, quickly see if you can do these questions, question 1, 2, and 3, and then we'll carry on when you're done. Right, let's continue. So we have got our final mark here, and we need to look at these values. So 80% or higher will be an A. So I'm going to start off with my if statement saying if the final mark is less than or equal to 100, but it's also final mark greater than 80 
or actually greater or equal than 80. So if it's 80 or more, but it's still less than or equal 100, then we know this person will get an A. So let's print this out. So we're just going to say print, grade, and we say A. Now let's go to the else if now. So what's the next part we need to do? The next one will be between 70 and 79. We will get, get a B. So we're going to say final mark less than 80. So that includes the 79. And the final mark is greater than or equal 70. So we want to have it between 70 and 79. So it must be less than 80. That includes the 79. But also it must be greater than or equal to 70. So that includes 70 and higher. Right. So if it's that one, we will print out grade B. Now the next else if. So now for the next one, it's between 60 and 69. So the same thing again, final mark, less than 70. So less than 70 would include your 69 there. And at the same time, your final mark must be greater than or equal 60. Okay, so less than 70 will include your 69 and also greater than or equal 60 will mean 60 up until 69. Right, for that one, we will print out grade C. Now, the else if again. Now, the next one is between 50 and 59. So it's exactly the same pattern we're following here. It's going to be less than 60 now. And also, the final mark should be greater than or equal 50. So that's exactly the same as just uh, 10 values lower. So we're going to say less than 60, and that will include your 59 there. And also it must be higher or equal to 50. So that's between 50 and 59. And again, we will just print out the grade. And the grade, in this case, will be a D. Now let's go to else if again. So now the next one between 40 and 49. So final mark, less than 50, that will include your 49. And the final mark must also be bigger than or equal to 40. Let's print out then grade E. And then for the last one, between 0 and 39 is an F symbol. Okay, so let's do that one. Else if. The final mark is less than 40 in this case, because it must be between 0 and 39, the last value. So it must be less than 40. And the final mark must be greater than or equal to 0. So it's between 0 and 40 marks. Then we will print out grade F. Now, what would be the else now? So you can see that our, our top range is less than or equal 100. That's the most we will get out of these if-else statements. And the lowest one is greater or equal to 0. So actually, my else take, takes care of this one that says less than 0 and this one that says higher than 100. So the else will take, will take care of both of those. So for this one, we can just say invalid mark. Now let's quickly run this and see what's the output. So we will see it's a grade A, 87. So let's take something. Let's take a 60 value. So a 60 will be a C in this category. Well, let's look at these. 60 is between 60 and 69, so it's a C. So let's take a look at 55. So 55 is in this range, so it should print out a D. And then let's go lower. Let's say a 48. So a 48 will be an E. Let's try a 
23. That will be in this range. So it's an F. So let's try something lower than uh, 0. Invalid mark. And let's try something greater than 100, which is 102. And it will still give me a valid invalid mark. So I hope you've got this one correct. Let's look at question number two. Use the variables below to calculate the total electricity bill according to the given conditions. Now we've gone through this, and this is very important, that we look at the first 50 units. So if I have exactly 50 units, it is 50 times 0 0.5, which gives me 25. If I have exactly 100, or for the next 100 units, which means exactly 150 units, it means it's that first 50, which is 25, plus the second 100, which is the 100 times 0 0.75, which will give me the 75. So it's 25 plus 75, which will give you 100 Rand for the first 150 units. Now for the next 100 units, so which means it's for 250 units, it will be the 25 for the first 50, it will be 75 for the first 100, and then for the second 100, it will be 100 times 1.2, which is 120. And adding that together will give you 220 Rand for 250 units. For every unit above 250, you will pay 220 plus whatever that ab amount above it times, uh, times 1.5. And then an additional surcharge of 20% is added to the bill at the end. So let's see how we can use this one, or we can do this one. Let's start with the first one. If the number of units that we have there is 267 is less than or equal to 50. So if it's less than or equal to 50, that's the first one for the first 50 units, it's 0 0.2 or 0 0.5 per unit. So the amount then that we can use should be the number of units multiplied by 0 0.50. Right, so that takes care of the first 50 units. Else if, if that value is not less than or equal 50, it means it's going to be more than 50. But now it can still be less than 150. So let's use that one. So we're going to say units less than or equal 150. Now how will we do this one? Because we know the number of units is less than or equal 50, this part is now actually false. When we get to this else if, it means that we have more than 50 units. And for the first 50 units, we already paid 25 Rand. So in this instance, we're going to say the amount will at least start at 25. And then we're going to add to that value. So what am I going to add to that value? So first type this maybe, or look at this first, and then we'll quickly explain. So I'm going to say the units minus the first 50 because this 25 is already the first 50 units. So I'm paying for that first 50 units. So it's going to basically going to be the number of units minus 50. And then that I will multiply by 0 0.75. So remember for the first 50 units, we paid 25. So I deduct the first 50, which I already paid for there. And then the rest gets multiplied by 0 0.75. Now let's go to the next one. The else if again. If the units then, so it was 150 for the first one, now we go to 250, which is the next 100. So it's less than or equal 250. What do we need to pay for? So we're going to say amount again equals. So for the first 150 units, it is 100 Rand there. So I'm going to say 100 plus the number of units minus it's the first 150 that we paid for 100. So I'm going to say minus 150. And then for the rest that still remains, we're going to pay this 1 rand 20 per unit. So 1.2. Now let's go to the last one. And that we can just actually leave as the else. So that's for every unit above 250. So if it's above 250, we will say the amount equals... So it will be for 250 units, it will be 220. So I'm going to say 220 plus, again, take the number of units minus the 250 units, because for 250, we pay 220. So we can see it there, 220 for 250 units. So I'm deducting that. And whatever is remaining there, we will be multiplying by the 1.50. 
Right, so now we have the amount that we pay for the total units consumed, but there's an additional surcharge of 20%. So let's work out the surcharge first. So after these if statements, we'll work out the surcharge, which will basically just be the amount multiplied by 0 0.20 or 0 0.2. That's 20% of the amount. And that gives us the surcharge. And then we can just go to the total amount that we declared at the top. Total amount should then be the amount plus the surcharge. And then we can print out the electricity bill. So we can say, just see the printout there. Uh, I did not give you a printout there. So we can just say something like electricity bill. Equals put the rand amount there and let's do some calculation here or not calculation, but we need to round it off nicely. So I'm going to say total amount dot two string as fixed. And let's pay, let's uh, use two decimal values because it's a money value. So it will be the total amount, which is the amount plus the surcharge and that rounded to two decimal places. So let's run this one quickly. Okay, so for this value, if you got it correct, for 267, you should have gotten 294.60. Let's just uh, check one of these. Let's say we had exactly a 250 units. For 250 units, we should pay 220. Right, so that's 220, and then an additional 20% on that, which will get you 44, and 44 plus the 220 will give you the 264. Right, so that's it for question number two. Let's look at question number three. Use the variable below and indicate whether or not the value is divisible by three, and you can use a switch to do this. Or in this case, you must use a switch to do this. So let's see how we can get this value. So I would have started by saying value percentage three. So value percentage three will give us a value it will return. So it will either be a zero or something else. For example, let's print out this quickly. Let's say print value percentage three. Let's run this quickly. Let's just take an easier value quickly here. Let's say 10 there and we say run. And you can see it will give us a one there. So that means if I take 10 and I divide three, it goes three times into 10, which would give you nine. And then there's a one remainder. So the percentage value there, or the modulus operator, only gives you back the remainder. And if the remainder is zero, for example, if I take nine here, you will see that re the remainder is actually zero. So if the remainder is zero, it means it's actually divisible then by that specific value, in this case three. So that's why I can do this with the switch statement, value percentage three. And then I will look at the values that I get returned there. So I'm going to say case there, the first one that we're actually interested in is case zero. So if it's a zero, we know it's divisible by three. So I'm just going to print out there the value. And then let's show the value also is divisible by three. Okay, and then we can break out of the switch if it's done. And then the next case, well, it could now be anything else. So let's use the default there. So if the default, if there's any other case, we will print out the value. Show the value again is not divisible by three. OK, so let's run this quickly and see the output. So it tells you the value nine is divisible by three. Let's take uh, 10, which is definitely not. And let's take uh, a 27, which we know it is. And if we take something like a 28, which is definitely not, it will also give me the correct output. OK, so this is the question number one, two, and three for exercise number four. So you can go through this again and make sure that you understand this. Thanks for watching the video. See you on the next one.